Hi, this is Scott and Rajay Simma and presently we are driving on our way to Anantapur. More than 2,000 youngsters are going to attend my motivational program today. And yesterday I was at Karnul, the beautiful town in Andhra Pradesh. And I happened to go to a fort called Konda Reddy Burzu. Those of you who don't know, you can Google that and find out Konda Reddy Burzu. Burzu means a small mini fort. Was built by Achyuta Rayalu, the brother of Sri Krishna Deva Rayalu, during Vijayanagar Samraja kings. I believe when they were transiting from this part of the country to the other part, so they used to stay there for some time and then um, they used to carry some oil and they used to carry some stones to build a temple in Alampur. So, when I was watching that fort, I was just thinking how many kings we have seen in our life. They built big, big empires. They conquered many countries. They built palaces, temples, churches, mass, and many great things that they've done. And one such thing is Kondarit Burzu, which is an ancient protected monument in India. And when we become successful, when we achieve something, and when we create something, when we construct something, and we feel so much possessive about it, and the ego uh, gets into us, there was this king, once he went to one saint with a gloomy face and said, uh, Guruji, I am the king of this big kingdom, but I am not happy. So the saint looked at him and said, what is your problem? A anyone is creating any problem, maybe your army general or your ministers or the people or any enemy king is trying to conquer. Um, he said, there is no such problem. We have enough wealth and uh, we are able to cultivate grains and ministers are good, army commanders are nice, people are um, okay. But somehow I am not happy, I am not able to discharge all these duties and I am having a lot of tension, stress, I am going through a lot of frustration. I don't know what I am supposed to do. So the saint looked at him and said, do one thing, for a few days stay here, leave everything else and just take care of. Uh, the basic administration of this mutt, this ashram, then we will see. Maybe we will talk, we will try and find solution. So, the king left everything else, started to live in the ashram, started taking care of that entire mutt, ashram, administration, looking after people, the food, and trying to help people to develop a curriculum for the disciples to learn and also people who come to see the Guruji, he was helping them to have the, his darshan. Everything else he was taking care. Soon a week went by, a month went by, six months have gone by and the king started to feel that he is very peaceful and very happy. He was able to eat well, he was having good health. In fact, he was able to sleep well as well. So the king one day he came to Guruji and said, Swamiji, right now I am feeling good. But I don't understand uh, this mystery that when I was in the palace, when I was in charge of the whole kingdom, I was in so much of stress. But when I'm here right now, nothing you did. You didn't give me any discourse. I didn't do anything else. But then why am I feeling so good? The saint, the Guruji looked at the king and said, when you were in the palace, you were thinking this kingdom is mine. This country is mine, this palace is mine, these people are mine and I am only the in charge for everything else. Without me, nothing will work. So, you had so much of possessiveness. From there came the ego and because of that, you are going through a lot of stress and strain. And when you were here in the mud, in the ashram, you were only thinking that this ashram doesn't belong to me. I am only a caretaker. I am only the in charge for taking up the administration. So, the moment you developed that detachment, that this is not mine, but I am only supposed to protect, take care, preserve and administer well. Then you never had that problem at all. And then you could sleep well, you could eat well and your health has improved. The king understood and said, Guruji, right now I understand. So the Guruji said, same is the problem with many people. And we think this car belongs to me. This watch belongs to me. This house belongs to me. This money belongs to me. This gold belongs to me and I am having this position, this belongs to me. 
you may be the district magistrate you may be the chief justice of india you may be the prime minister you are only a caretaker the chair is permanent but not you the chair will still be there you will sit there maybe for 2 years 4 years 5 years and many people were sitting in the chair before you and many will come and sit in the chair after you so you are only a caretaker and if you can understand this you will have so much of peace tranquility because frankly speaking we came with nothing we came empty handed and when we die the way alexander said we go empty handed neither we bought anything here nor we are going to take anything from here so nothing we brought nothing we are going to take from here so everything the god the almighty the nature had given us to protect to be happy and then make others happy and just to make a life make this life a little more beautiful but somehow we think that no this i earned it this land i bought it this house i built it okay this is everything is mine so the moment you feel that way then there's so much a problem so uh, the key to success is can you develop the detachment with anything be it your family be it with your children be it uh, with your friends be it at your office be it anything that you have that i am only here for few days little period and i'm supposed to take care of it and then whatever i can use it i will use it and i'll make myself happy and i will contribute for the happiness of others if we can do i'm sure you too will find the same happiness that king found so that's what the guru ji taught the king that develop this detachment from everything guys and then you will find so much of happiness okay so when i saw this condor in the burzu that fort i was reminded of that only that the kings who have built have gone long away but then still those forts are there to for us to remind us that these things are permanent but we humans are not so there should be no ego develop that detachment and then find that happiness and i'm sure you will make this world much more beautiful thank you so much jaisa ma sending off bye bye